I'm here at the Imarsat booth here at NAB 2013. I've got Martin with me, and as always, we like to hear about new announcements, and you're, you've got two here to talk about. Um, what have you got in your hands there? Well, so what I've got here is uh, brand new, yeah. exclusively unveiled at, at uh, NAB 2013. Um, and this is a new BGAN terminal. It's um, the Explorer 710. It's from Cobham. Yeah. And effectively, it's BGAN 2.0. So broadcasters, I used to work at the BBC. I yeah. use BGAN in the field like a lot of, uh, a lot of broadcasters. It's a standard part of the, the toolkit. Yeah. The big difference that, that this will bring is that it, it gives access to a higher streaming speed, which Inmarsat is launching later this year. Yeah. So it will take streaming up to around 650 kilobits per second. And you know, the, the, uh, the big improvement that that will, will, will deliver is, is video quality. Obviously, as you get more speed, better quality, but it's not a linear progression. As you get up to 560, 600 kilobits per second, you get a big jump in quality. And so that's exactly what HDR is going to deliver. But it's also, you could bond two of these together. Yeah. So then you get, you get 1.3 megabits per second or higher. Right. That, two of these in a backpack, yeah. you've got the equivalent of a low-end VSAT uplink. Yeah. I'd have given my eye teeth for that <laughs> as, a, as a journalist in the field. It's also designed so you don't need a computer to control it. Control it from a smartphone, from uh, the terminal itself. It's got a built-in SIP server, so get your smartphone, make phone calls, check your emails, all with a terminal that size. Um, same price point as the existing BGAN 700 terminal, and so we're going to demonstrate it live at IBC in uh, September. It'll launch in Europe, Middle East and Africa in October and globally by the end of the year. So. I think, uh, well, we've had a lot of interest in it, and like I say, you know, same price, vastly more capability. It's sort of, uh, it's quite a cool product. Very impressive, yes. This one here. And then the other thing is uh, Global Express, yeah. which is Inmarsat's KA band network. Uh, the first satellite for that goes up uh, at uh, second half of this year. That's a, ma I mean, this is a major one and a half billion dollar program, and it's designed to, complement the Alban product. Yeah. I mean, so this is a 75 centimeter auto deploy dish, yeah. 32 kilos, uh, so one airline checkable case, uh, 20 to 30 thousand dollars, so that's an incredible price. And it'll give you four megabits per second, that sort of, that yeah. sort of data rate anywhere in the world. And it's designed to be global broadband, sort of global broadband for a new generation. So. You can connect this to, to this via Wi-Fi, via Ethernet, and as a journalist, take it into the field and you've got the ability to do HD video. So, so Global Express, you know, f as, as the product that sort of enables uh, Inmarsat to, to, to basically address a whole new market. And together, these things, I think, you know, they really do offer the opportunity to revolutionize the way that satellite news gathering works. And so I'm, I, I think that I think we're going to see on air the changes that, that these will bring about. I think, you know, just finally, one of the big things that, that we're seeing in the market is an increase in the use of cellular bonding. Yeah. Cellular bonding is great, but the one thing you can't do is guarantee that it will work. Put it together with BGAN yeah. and you've got that guarantee you'll make yeah. your slot. And that for a broadcaster is what it's all about. Martin, thank you for showing these. If people want to find out some more information about these and obviously everything else you guys do, is there a website they can go to? Inmarsat.com Media. Martin, thank you very much. Uh, go and have a look at their website. The link is just below me. You'll find out all the information you need to know about all the products that they're talking about here at NAB. And of course, everything that we're doing here at NAB 2013 is on our website, which is broadcastshow.com.